From newscasts to podcasts, websites, and social media, there have never been more places to get news. So how do you navigate it? Well, that's what veteran CBS journalist Bob Schieffer takes on in his new book, examining forces that shaped the presidential election and the crucial role of the press. Our guest for the evening, Bob Schieffer. One of the busiest retirees in America turns a curious, sometimes critical eye on journalism in overload, finding the truth in today's deluge of news. Are we wiser for having access to all this information, or are we simply overwhelmed with so much information that we can't process? What's a savvy news consumer to do? Uh, number one, the old rule, buyer beware. Always uh, base your opinions on more than one source. Schieffer interviewed 40 journalists for the book about media's technology revolution, the impact of the 24 hour news cycle, the shuttering of newspapers, and the rise of social media. We don't print or broadcast something unless we think it's true. Well, that's not always the case on social media. But it does give people direct access to a president who embraces Twitter to take on opponents and make policy. They're getting direct news from the president. Well, they are. And, and, and that's right. And I think there's a certain good that can come from that. But what worries me is when he says some of these things like he says about North Korea and, and you wonder uh, what, what's his game here? What is he hoping to get out of this? We're in a very dangerous period in this country right now and I think uh, all of our public officials should weigh what they say before they say it. Schieffer, who covered 14 presidential elections, maintains solid, vetted journalism is critical to national security. And journalists, he says, are not the opposition. We're there to check the story that the politicians put out. Now, I had a chance to ask Bob Schieffer if he missed the day-to-day -day in Washington. He says he is as involved as he wants to be, doesn't have to get up at 4.30 in the morning on Sunday anymore. But he also says finishing a book, and this is his fourth one, is one of his proudest accomplishments every time. I can imagine. And he seems like the type of guy who's just always in a great mood. Yeah. Right. I mean, and really interested. And I felt like I learned so much in his book about podcasts. Yeah. About all of this new media and digital media that I hadn't known about before I read it. He's keeping on top of the changes, yes. no question. All right, let's bring